so all of her freaking roadways. Uh, half million dollar installation. Look like this. So I've got a question for you. What do you think it looks like now? Now bear in mind, this half million dollar installation, that was just the installation. This was after about $4 million of funding. About $2 million from the US government and about $2 million from Indiegogo. This is what it looks like now. I mean, wow, that's a really cool half million dollar Christmas tree stand. Now, if you think that's an epic fail, nah, I'm just getting warmed up because there's one thing that really pushes my buttons and that's seeing the minds of young kids warped by snake oil promises. These sort of technology can do absolutely anything if we just believe in it type promises. I have the solution to our problem that will ensure New Zealand as a world leader on fighting climate change. Solar roads. Let alone see them showcased in the finals of an organisation that says it's there to promote the understanding of science and technology. This is from the New Zealand finals of the Eureka Awards. Posted late in 2018 just a few months before I'm posting this video. Electricity generated by the road will be used to charge nearby street lamps, businesses and homes via cables under the road and any surplus will be fed into the grid. Ah, I mean really, the first solar roadway installation has been up for a few years now. Don't you think it's just a little bizarre that you have to explain what solar roadways will look like using a cartoon? Embedded LEDs and a microprocessor, which is basically a mini computer, added into the road can allow road markings and warning signs to be displayed. Again, what's with these fantasy pictures? There's actually an installation that you can show people. Not quite what was promised, really. These can be remotely altered and even flash when unexplained weight is sensed. For example, a child running out a landslide, or livestock escaped from nearby paddocks. Solar roads can allow us to melt snow and ice in winter through diverting some of its power to heating components, saving both the money used to de-ice the roads and the injuries and damages which occur due to icy driving conditions. Now, just bear in mind that this was given the year after the solar roadways installation gave this magnificent performance in winter. For those in the north, the panels use energy they collect to power elements to keep the surface temperature a few degrees above freezing. They're heated. No more ice and snow on roads causing traffic delays, accidents and injury. Excuse me, young man, am I being led to believe that this thing is some sort of thing? Yes, it's a thing, a real thing. No more shoveling your driveway and sidewalk, no salt corroding your car, or wasting tax money on snow removal. Which is why the owners totally didn't have to come in and shovel snow off them. There's heaters in them, so you never have to worry about snow plows anymore. Well, guess what was caught on camera? No more shoveling your driveway and sidewalk. You are so busted. And guess, and guess who posted a picture the self same day saying how brilliant solar roadways were for clearing themselves. But the official solar roadways Instagram. I'm Well, isn't that daisy? From the official solar roadways, we've been absolutely slammed with snow here in northern Idaho over the past few weeks. This picture was taken after over a foot of snow fell in one day. The heating elements didn't quite keep up with that extreme, but pretty close. And you can ride your bike or drive your motorcycle all year round. Whoa! The heating elements will keep the road surface snow and ice free all winter long. Um, I have concerns about the future. Is this thing even possible? I told you, yes. Solar roadway technology was invented by engineering couple Julie and Scott Brusaw in 2006.
They're too humble and wonderful to yell at you over the internet, so I'm gonna do it. You need to know about this technology. You need to get behind it. You need to share it with everyone you know, because this is actually happening. By covering our roadways with solar panels, not only do we harness the space to transform the sun's rays into renewable. Yeah, about harvesting the sun's energy. You see, there's actual solar power generation data for the solar roadways installation. At its peak in the first year, it generated about 10 cents per day. Now, normally solar panels degrade about 1% per year. However, not quite so with solar freaking roadways. They lost 70% of their power generating capacity over just one year, meaning that you can calculate the lifetime energy generation for this solar roadway, which cost about half a million dollars and it would generate about $35 of electricity, not including the energy it took to run the LEDs. Not that that really matters, because the installation stopped generating electricity altogether about three months ago. Oh, and did I mention that they're also solar panels? They generate electricity, they generate capital. They pay for themselves and they keep paying more because we're not gonna run out of sun for like 15 billion years. But in fact, the top layer of tempered glass is specially textured to meet the same standards for traction as traditional roads. The textured glass can allow a car traveling at up to 130 kilometers an hour to stop within the same braking distance as on an asphalt road, even in wet conditions. Yeah, about that. Given that this is their solar roadway installation and it failed multiple times with just gentle foot traffic, and, and given the fact that no car has ever driven on this, I might take their claims about stopping cars going at hundreds of kilometers per hour in the wet with just, maybe just, just a grain of salt. And finally, having had their brilliant idea vindicated by the amazing performance of this prototype, they won, I'm not making this up, they won a Henry Ford Innovation Nation Prize. Actually, let me just back that up a bit. A few years ago, they were featured on Innovation Nation. Welcome to the Henry Ford's Innovation Nation. I'm Mo Rocca. Prepare to be mesmerized. Coming up, hitting the road for the ultimate power trip. We've got the solar cells, the circuit board, the LEDs for making road lines, and graphics, whatever we need. Then, at about the same time that their half million dollar solar roadway installation was generating about two cents of electricity per day, they became the first annual Mo Madness Innovation Nation champions. Well, it's not so much a solar roadway, it's a half million dollar non-solar powered Christmas tree park. Can't wait till they actually get a solar roadway, you know, that actually, I don't know, generates electricity. Or even better, can maybe be used as a roadway. Now you'd have thought that such a monumental failure to deliver anything even remotely close to what they promised might have dampened their spirits just, just a little. But no, they're now tweeting things like this about how they're going to use solar freaking roadways to pave uh, cruise ships. Oh, and wow, what do you know? Another, another very badly photoshopped image. It's almost like the reality doesn't deliver anything of what the pictures promise. Most importantly, however, electric cars will be able to charge as they are driving through simple mutual induction technology. Solar roads are the end of the road for fossil fuels. Well, I'm not so sure about that, but they're certainly challenging my faith in humanity with Solar Roadways tweeting this just in December of 2018. We are delighted to announce that Cooper Hewitt Smithsonian Design Museum has included solar roadways in the Road Ahead exhibit. I mean, really, just once, just once, it would be nice if someone looked at the chasm between what's promised and what's actually delivered and thought, huh, maybe I should look at this guy's claims a little more skeptically. <laughs>